My name is Samsi Omontai Olabori. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Mandi. Hello everyone, my name is Jitwe. Uh, my name is Abdullah Abdi. We are group four, we are here to present a case study on Domino Pizza. So this is our table of content and we have a short video on Domino Pizza. I'm here to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of being an employee and self-employed. So firstly, I would like to define an employee. Based on our uh, MO 2002, define an employee as a person in the service of another under any contract of hire. So, I would like to talk about the advantage of an employee. Advantage an employee, employees are given benefit by employers. They are given benefits, they are given life insurance for the workers and their family. So, number two, employees enjoy the maximum wages rules of employment. They enjoy the maximum wages of rules. Their wages, their wages is high. They enjoy the high wages. So number three, employees get assistance through cooperative that help them to fulfill other areas of their lives. There is a cooperative called helps. So whenever you are in a critical situation, maybe you are sick, you can actually call the service and they will come and help you. Number four. Employee can increase their ownership stake through discounts and stock purchasing program. There's a program called discount stock purchasing program. So discount stock purchasing program is when whenever somebody a worker in a domino in a, in a domino uh, domino when a worker in a domino when they buy things they can they have a discount. They will be able to have a discount. So number the last but not the least, employees are provided with retirement plan. Retirement plan. The example of retirement plan is 401k. So after they finish working, I mean maybe after 50 years when they resign working, they are provided retirement plan so, so that they can use it in the future. So I would like to talk about the disadvantage of an employee. So one of the disadvantages of an employee benefits not offered to part-time employee. All the benefits like our medical, medical and our insurance for their family, it's it's not offered to the part-time employee. So that would be a disadvantage. Employees are not given break or lunch time, though they are given break and or. or and lunch time, but they give just 30 minutes for their staff. So it can, it can, it, it will make them to feel like they are overstressed themselves. So that is another disadvantage. So this can bring about tension in the workplace. So for without time, without limited time, when there's limited time, it can bring a tension to the, to the worker. So it will bring tension to the worker. Lack of employee pro uh, progression can reduce employee motivation. When there is no limited time, it can reduce their motivation. They will not be motivated in what they are doing. And when there is no motivated, uh, mot motivation, the work will not go well. So no job security. The work is the, there is a low job security. So uh, cannot really make personal input to the work. They cannot make personal input to the work. So right now, I will go to the next page. I would like to talk about self-employee. 
According to the Social Security Administration, self-employee can be defined as a someone who operates a trade, business, or professional either by yourself or as a, pa pa a partner. Is a person who work you work by yourself or by a partner. So I would like to talk about the advantage. I will move to the advantage of self-employee. Ownership advantage is owned by one person. You own your business. So that is one of the advantages. So profit possibility grow regular all the time being equal. It's when the way you run your the way you run your business this month, you can also run it the next month. So the 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 profit in the the profit grow regularly all the time being equal. So tax reduction or exemption is usually given to the self-employee. Tax reduction is given to the self-employee. There is a space for extension of the business. As a self-employee, you can extend your business anytime you want. So decision making is left to you. So you can decide to bring your business to another area. You can decide to relocate your business. So right now I'm going to talk about the disadvantage of being self-employee. Possibility of increased tax payment in a long run. The tax payment in the long run, they can increase it. So when it gets to increase, it's going to affect your profit. So profit making may be low, slow at the starting of the business. The profit making can be can be very, very slow at the starting of the business. When you start a business, it is slow. The profit will be slow because they are not a, a lot of people doesn't know your your place. They don't know. They are just knowing the place. So the profit making will be slow. So I will talk about the third one. The risk of the failure. Uh, the risk of failure is possible. So the risk of the failure is possible. It can be. It can fall. Maybe it's a customer. Maybe when you plan to put it in the wrong location, so the customer will not even know there. So it, the risk of the failure can be can be like let me say like twenty percent. So let me talk about the next one. The competition is high as self-employed with the dominant brand. So their competition are very very high compared to KFC, compared to McDonald's. So they have compete, they are always competing. So last but not the least, so I will talk about the location. Location can mean a lot. The location will mean a lot. When you plan your business and put it in the wrong location, it will tell, it will mean a lot. It will affect the business. So the location will affect the business. So I have to move to the next level. So I will talk about the, uh, the theory. So my, my client, uh, my client, so I have to talk about this theory, need for the achievement, the need of, for the achievement, need for the power. Personal, we have two power, we can be personal and it can be institutional power. So need for the affliction. So thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Abdullahi. So today I'm going to present this question. So I said about the, the same, what, the, what's the advantage and disadvantage of a small business. And also, there's another type of business. I would like it's about like a uh, limited company business. It also has advantage and disadvantage. So first of all, let me see the first type of business. It is sole trader. Also, we can call small business. So we need to know first what does that mean? What is the definition of sole trader? Actually, the sole trader is it's a type of business that only by someone and manage it, that we call sole trader business. Next slide, so the next slide is about the advantage of small business. What is the advantage of first of the of what is the advantage of small business? First we need to see the control. If you have a small business type, it's you have the power, you have you have you have the full power about the control. You can control your business. You don't need to wait. You don't need to wait any suggestion, something like that. The next one is about private data. Private data is about you have your own private information, so you don't need to share the information about your business, about your whole business. Well, you don't need to share how people, you just keep it as private. The next one is about the, pro the profit. 
So this one is about profit. Also, this one is about you don't need to. Even as we as 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 I said, the limited company that is profit. Once you got a profit from the limited company, you need to share the other share for that. So in this type of business, you don't need to share. You just keep it your own profit from that business. Okay, uh, the next slide is about the ones that is advantage of small business. That is as far the first one is about liability. It's about it, that this advantage of the small business is about this limits liability. The next one is about decision making. So if you need to take a decision, you don't have other people like you don't you don't need uh, you don't have other people. You just take a decision. That's all. The next the next one is about the holiday. So you are the boss of the business. You are the you are the you are the manager of the business. So it's it, it really so hard to take a holiday or a short time. The third one is an absent about the life of the business. Actually, it's not limited. Life of the business is limited. The next one is it's about the finance. If you need to open more project, if you need to set up a new business, you it's actually so hard. So you need to have more budget. You need to have more cost. Next slide. Also, this is the type of the business. It is limited company. We need to know first what is the limited company. Limited company is actually there is like more than two people cooperate. That is we call limited company. Next slide, please. Uh, so actually, we have to see what is the advantage of limited company. The advantage of limited company that is a limited liability. The second one is about is about professional. If you work, if you have limited company business, you're gonna get more prof more experience about that business. The next one is about the shareholder. If you if you got like if you if you lost your business, if you got fail fail something like that, you you don't need to worry about where because you're not gonna take that responsibility very long. You just share whatever in the whatever loss like or profit you need to share in the business. The second one. That the okay this one next slide please. Yeah. So we came in a research sector. There is a risk in a research sector. At first we need to know the sort of in a research sector. If you have a restaurant, you have the food bar of the, the restaurant. Also the next one is the, the next one is about the also small resort area you can take quick decision. That means you don't need to share, you don't need to meet some people to take a decision to do that. Uh, the next one is about it's so difficult to take your holiday. If you have a business, if you have a small business, actually you don't, you can't take a holiday because you are the boss of the business, you are the manager of the business. So you actually so have to take a holiday. The large limited company. Also to set up a new business as a limited company, you need to have more cost. If you have more cost, you can set up the business. If you don't have more cost, you can set up the business. The next slide, please. This, this is my theory about the having small business and having limited campaign. Next slide. Thank you for thank you for your Any questions?
um, it requires a little experience. So if you want to start, uh, if you want to try a franchise, it does require a lot of experience. You just need a little experience because you will get the first of all from the brand owner. The head of success is always high. The head of success for all franchising is high than doing it alone. The creative success is high because you will get the support, like the training, and the needs you need from the owner of the brand. The expansion of this business model is good. The expansion is good because uh, franchising usually have a strong need and brand name image. People always believe uh, all, franchi all kinds of franchise like McDonald's, KFC, all fast food are also the same in Japan. Probability is high because, as I mentioned, it, probability is high because people always believe the franchisee as they have the brand, the brand, the brand and the image. So, as in business, the dominance also has, uh, has also a lot of new factors like visa, hard, bar terms, or visa training. So, that's all we got. Hello, everyone. My name is Li Chiwei. Today, I'll talk to you about question five. Part of a business to start with the franchise are kind of an entrepreneur. <laughs> the first one is a uh, uh, fast food restaurant. A uh, fast food is a food uh, that can be quickly replied and uh, very fast. Uh, can eat at a restaurant uh, and also can take out them, uh, such as uh, uh, KFC, McDonald's, uh, Domino Pizza, Burger King, and uh, so on. The second one is uh, uh, information and uh, communication technology uh, business, uh, <coughs> such as uh, Taobao, Taobao, uh, and uh, uh, smart smartphone uh, business. The third one is the uh, legal firm. Legal firm is uh, uh, the law. Uh, the third one is uh, legal firm. Legal firm means a uh, business made up of lawyers that can work together uh, after the family of the name. The third one is the uh, smell. Small, small and medium or uh, still uh, entrepreneurs. That means uh, they are, they are those uh, business uh, they are those business person who is personal numbers further below uh, that they said career. Uh, career delivery service. Career delivery service is uh, uh, very fast. First door, uh, door to door, uh, and uh, uh, pick up uh, pick up goods to uh, deliver uh, service. That's all. My name is Samson Olaboti. So I'm here to talk about question number five. Uh, which is we franchise always act in the interest of the franchisor. The answer is yes. How can this problem be resolved? Number one point, franchise need the resources of the franchisor to make their name in the business. So let me, let me expand it about the question. So if they need uh, like the name, for example, I want to open Domino Pizza. I need the name, I need a franchisor. I need, I need a franchisor to make their name in the business. So the second question, franchise must follow the specific of the specification of the franchise in terms of product or service. So the specification, they have to follow the specification. Where do you want to locate your business? They have to follow the rules and the regulation of the business. So let me talk about the third part to enable franchises to receive the benefits in the franchise from the parent company so let me talk about that one they have to like receive benefits like our uh, domino pizza i'm having a domino pizza company here in kuala lumpur 
So I'm happy to, I have to like pay. I, they have to receive their benefits for me using their brand, using their name. So they have to receive their benefits. So number five, franchisees need to follow rules uh, regulation of grade given by the parent company. They have they have rules and regulation of the company like the time they open and the time they are closing time. So they have the rules and regulation. What in terms of their clothes, what what kind of clothes they wear, how how did they attend to the customer, how did they make their bread or their uh, pizza? So how did, how did, uh, did they make their pizza? So they have the rules and regulation. So the last but not the least, franchise must pay the uh, requirement percent from their operation to the parent company. I've said that earlier on. They have to pay. They have they have to pay the requirement percent, like maybe um five percent every month. They send five percent of their benefits. They send it to the to the franchisor, you know, to the original company, to the brand name, the name of the brand. So that is how they do that. So 